Since last year's trailer, Nintendo has gradually given us more insight into Splatoon 3. As expected with the reveal trailer, much remained to the imagination. But last September, we got a glimpse of the game's story mode, Return of the Mammalians. At the beginning of this year, they showed us the new Salmon Run. And a few weeks ago, they also surprised us with a full match replay of Turf War. And although the response on the latest trailer has been positive overall, I've also seen some tweets about Splatoon 3 not being innovative or refreshing enough to call it a full-fledged sequel. In this video, I want to see if there's any truth to this narrative or if it's too early to draw such conclusions. Let's find out by comparing the latest trailer and videos from the official Japanese website with similar Splatoon 2 footage. The start screen is completely changed. What immediately stands out are the customizable name cards. And if there's one thing the Splatoon community likes, it's customization. To be completely honest, I think this screen is a bit of a mess at the moment. This has everything to do with the general layout and the balance of the design. Maybe it's my OCD, but I have a strong feeling that this is still placeholder design and Nintendo is going to clean this up. In particular, these somewhat repeating background shapes over here really prevents me from sleeping at night. A while ago, I saw this concept designed by a Twitter user called Poofu Life, I'm sorry for butchering your name, but it really appealed to me, so maybe I'm a little bit spoiled. This concept design doesn't have the name cards, but I'm not sure if they are needed here to begin with, but I'll come back to that in a moment. Next, the character introduction screens. I think everybody agrees that this is a big improvement compared to Splatoon 2. The new animations are of high quality and very dynamic with the ink splatter effects and the floating espresso machines. And just imagine if these animations are also customizable. Wouldn't that be absolutely perfect? A possible improvement would be to show the name cards here instead of the stage reveal screen. To me it makes more sense to show the design of both your name card and your character on the same screen. This will make the first start screen a lot cleaner so it can focus more on the game mode and stage instead of the players and name cards. But maybe I'm digressing a bit from the video's topic so let's get back to it. I think the community agrees that everything so far looks fresh and improved. The so-called Splatoon 2.5 complaints are mainly based on the actual gameplay. Let's take a closer look at that next, shall we? At first sight, the general level design, animations, camera angle and overall effects are indeed very similar to those of Splatoon 2. Still, I think it's a bit too easy to say that Nintendo simply copied Splatoon 2. Because if we look a little bit closer, it seems that almost every animation has been optimized or even redone. For example, if you look at the footwork of the Inkling, the character in Splatoon 3 seems to move a little less flowy than in Splatoon 2. Also, the shoes no longer clip through the ink tank. And with this new position of the ink tank, your character is also a little bit more visible. So we get to enjoy that fresh branded t-shirt a bit better. And I know these are just minor adjustments, but improvements nonetheless. The subtle improvements are more visible in the clips Nintendo has released on the Japanese website. Let's take a look at these first without interruptions. You can clearly see that the idle animation has been completely redone. If you look at the knees, you can see that in Splatoon 3, the character moves way less from left to right. The overall pose and proportions of the weapon are also different. I can only conclude that with all the new customizable features, such as the eyebrows, facial animations and hair highlights, Nintendo has recreated the character model from the ground up. As you can see right here, the transformation from squid to human form has been recreated too. Overall, I think the new animation is slightly better. But what's nice for Splatoon 2 is how the ink fades away more gradually. Maybe they are still working on that.
The most obvious example is the firing splatter shot. The animation is much better with the recoil and overall animation. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Did you expect bigger changes or are you happy with what we've seen so far? Personally, I think it's good that the game resembles Splatoon 2 at its core. And I get it, my mother probably can tell the difference between Splatoon 2 and 3, but she's not the one who's gonna buy and play the game. She's not the target audience. My theory is that most fans, and especially the competitive scene, don't let their judgement depend on the superficial looks. Most of them are interested in the quality of life changes, such as the great addition of ink armor after you're getting launched into battle to prevent spawn camping. Splatoon is already a very established franchise, and with established franchises, fans typically don't like it when you fix something that isn't broken. It is no coincidence that for example the Halo franchise is very faithful to its own core qualities and gameplay. For those who don't play Halo, the footage that you see right now is probably looking very similar. Only those who rarely play the game would complain about this. The same thing happened to Super Smash Bros Ultimate. When the first trailer got released, many people were complaining that it looked too much like the Wii U version. And now, a few years later, nobody really believes that anymore. What it comes down to is how much Nintendo is adding to what's already good. And I think that's exactly what they are planning to do. For example, on top of all the new weapons, they've recently announced that all weapons from Splatoon 2 are coming back. I suspect that Nintendo knows very well how to make this game a success by adding new weapons, levels, quality of life improvements such as fixing spawn camping, better map and game mode rotations, customization, going all out with these platfests, and last but not least, the story mode. Something we don't know much about. I truly believe that a compelling story mode will blow away any doubts for sure. As long as Nintendo adds to what's already good, I'm convinced that everyone will buy this so-called Splatoon 2.5 and the game will be a success both commercially and with the fans. Let me know in the comments below where you stand on this topic. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, it really helps with the algorithm. Thank you for watching and I see you guys around in the next video or stream. Bye bye.